We live? What's up, guys? We are live on Twitch right now at I Am Sloper. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this YouTube video. Welcome in. Welcome, everybody. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. We're going to get right into it. This is five scary videos you must watch before it's removed from the internet. Scary Comp V103. Bye, Scary Comp. Um, enough of yapping. Let's get right into it. Loza, a music producer and singer found himself in a public restroom one day when he heard unusual knocking sounds emanating from within the empty room. Perplexed by the solitary nature of the situation, he decided to record the event. This is the recording he captured. I think Diddy, I think Diddy was doing it. Pero ahorita está ruidos raros. Hmm. Y se está tocando la puerta, pero quiero que vean que pues no hay nada. Vean, ahí está mi reflejo. Mi reflejo, pero vean de este lado. Pues aquí no hay nada. Ah. Oh, no. Tampoco hay nada. I don't know about this, bro. Oh no. Acá el lugar es bastante pequeño y está mi reflejo. Pero a ver, hoy. Escucha. What the hell? Escucha. No hay nada. That's weird. I don't know what's going on, chat, but that. We have to stay vigilant. All right. <laughs> so we're back at it with, with with ads. Okay, nice. Just what we wanted. Which is the cubicle. A pale, eerie face becomes visible through the gap in the door. Watching him intently. Ooh, nah. Upon his get out, get glance, out, bro. No one is present. Is this apparition nice the source of skills, the mysterious bro. knocking sounds, no, or is it part of a more elaborate deception? Share your thoughts in the comments. Hmm. Brenna Logan shared a chilling incident of her sister at a children's center. The facility catered to children of all ages, blending elements of a music school with daycare services. Despite its unique offerings, the center struggled to attract many children due to prevailing fears. Hmm. Numerous reports surfaced among the children of encountering a malevolent presence within the play tunnel. Although investigations owner. consistently found it empty. Additionally, staff often discovered toys mysteriously relocated without any plausible explanation. Huh. With the onset of the pandemic, the daycare eventually closed its doors but not before installing surveillance cameras to safeguard the premises. Chat. Chat, 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 chat. Do y'all think... <laughs> y'all think a ghost is there or something? Like a malevolent spirit, like they're saying? While no intruders were ever caught on camera, the footage revealed something unsettling that continues to unsettle those who witnessed it. Here is the footage they captured. Watch closely. Oh hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. My kid won't be going there. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's a bit excessive. Where's the fishing line at? You know. So everybody thinks. Maybe I can turn that up a little bit so I can hear it a little bit better. Okay. What is that? Is that a ball? I don't see no like shadows or anything. Ooh, nah. Can't even play with toys. But realistically, realistically, how do you explain all this? Nah, bro. 
Nah, I got chill bumps, no. Besides the fact it's that it's called my house. Why few children were visiting this place. From objects moving on their own to an inexplicable white orb seemingly guided by its own volition, employees assert this location is haunted. Maybe. Even now, Brenner's sister staunchly maintains this belief. Though no longer employed there, she vividly recalls the unsettling incidents she encountered while working. Despite lacking footage of these eerie occurrences, Brenner trusts her sister's sincerity. She firmly believes the unexplained phenomena captured on camera will persist a mystery. It Chat. is evident what that our think? knowledge about Area 51 comments. remains limited, particularly concerning our desired depth of understanding. According to a recent Reddit post, mm. personnel at Area 51 have reportedly been negligent in their duty to manage alien remains effectively. Yo, chat, do you think aliens are real? Type 1 if you think they are, type 2 if you don't think they are. Yeah. Ooh, nah. Either one is fake or it's or it's real, bro. So either one of those two. I mean, I don't know. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Why the hands and the feet so be? What? Why does it look like that? Imagine a it. seemingly obscure up. corridor <laughs> emerges as an unexpected <laughs> I'm so unserious, bro. What is wrong with me? Remains. The video lacks credible sourcing, but claims to depict genuine extraterrestrial footage. Of mm. particular intrigue is the peculiar appendage resembling well, whoever released that and Finn definitely got packed up by the government. characteristic. Whether this discovery was intended to be unearthed from the depths of the sea or the heights of Mars remains uncertain. Bro, it was like a Let mermaid. Let me know your thoughts in the comments <sighs> down below. Pete and Ash, residents of the United States realized their dream of owning a home in the serene countryside of Michigan a few years ago. Nestled amidst the picturesque woods, their newfound happiness soon faced an unsettling turn. Mm. Nights brought with them peculiar noises that disrupted their peace. While encountering nighttime sounds in wooded areas is not uncommon, Pete and Ash initially attributed these disturbances to wildlife, possibly coyotes. However, the persistence and eerie nature of these noises began to raise doubts in their minds. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, nah. Bro, if you go back to one of my other videos, Eastern Canada. In the front yard. Nah. It's not like the Appalachian Mountain type stuff, bro. Ain't nothing out there. And he gonna open the door. There's nothing out there. Just... There's nothing out here. <laughs> okay. Watch as soon as he closes the door. Oh. Pete nods off after staying up late for a football game only to be abruptly awakened by the eerie sounds Bro, it's they've a been hearing. basketball game. It to says him, the Lakers on it. It seems like the source is right outside in the front yard. <sighs> Curious and unsettled, he ventures out to investigate. Upon opening the front door, however, there's no one in sight. Troubled by the persistent unsettling noises, Pete and Ash opt to install a trail camera. In the dim footage, the camera captures movement among the trees bordering mm. their property. What is that? Bruh. Another. Hold on, that might be a fire game. Hold on. Wait a minute. Alright, so it's like a rake to. No, like a uh, siren head prototype. That's cool. You notice it? Take a look at the shadowy area on the right side of the screen. Something appears to be moving among the trees, oh. accompanied by those eerie sounds persisting in the background. 
Maybe a skin Later walker. on, Pete visits a pond near his home and hears those unsettling noises once more. He decides to record using his phone to gather proof, but unwittingly captures something entirely unexpected. Keep a keen eye out. Chat, what you think? I've been hearing it by the pond lately. It's going today. And what was that? Do you all... Y'all heard that chat? What the... What the hell was that? As Pete's camera scans the area, he notices movement among the trees lining the pond's edge. The mysterious sounds grow noticeably louder, mm. suggesting whatever is causing them is drawing nearer. The tension escalates as the yeah. night progresses. I'm merely pulling out my Glock and shooting it. I don't care. Call it Ghostbusters or whatever. Later, the couple is abruptly awakened by the persistent noises, now disturbingly close. Hey. So close, it seems, right outside their house. No, no, just stay upstairs, okay, Ash? No, stay upstairs. I don't like how it just collectively stopped like that. He just sounds like it's on the porch. I know, I know it sounded right like it was right outside. Are we going down? No, just just stay up there. Straight out of a horror movie, bro. You never go check out the noise. Ever. Ever. Great word of advice for you from your boy. What the hell was that? Enough of that. Enough of yapping. I mean, pay attention, really. Okay. No, no. Well, I made sure. Make sure the door is locked. What's it, what, what did you? I don't know. Did they didn't see, see anything. It? I didn't well, see anything out there. I mean, what the fuck was that? Whatever lurks beyond attempts to breach the door, yet neither Pete nor Ash discern any presence. Silence descends thereafter. Hmm. Several nights later. While driving through the forest on their way home, Pete and Ash once more encounter the unsettling sounds. Initially distant, the noises steadily intensify until they feel encompassed from all sides. Yeah, is it indeed. <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't get him fire alarm. No, seriously, it's, got, it's probably a skinwalker chat. Oh my god, no. Fuck that. Ash you. appeared increasingly fearful as the ominous you. sounds drew near the car. Feeling unnerved, <laughs> the couple hastily drove away, seeking safety in distance. Nevertheless, Despite these harrowing encounters, Pete and mm. Ash endeavored to regain a sense of normalcy in their lives. In the following I was scene, just like, I don't know, move. The couple finds themselves unwinding at home when a sudden, jarring noise abruptly disrupts their peace, leaving them on high alert. Can I kiss you? Yes. Aww. Oh, can I, can I do one more? Sorry. <laughs> can I do this one? Okay, right. Why is she like this? Did you hear that? Yeah, what the fuck was that? Sound like it's the front door. Again. Did you see anything? No, there's no one out. Hmm. No fucking way. What? What? Is that the apple? Pizza. Is anyone out there? This isn't fucking funny! Pete, don't go that far. <laughs> Come back inside. If I see you want to call the goddamn cops. Come back inside. Come on. Seriously. I'm tired of this shit. No. Fuck. The couple proceeds to the front door to inspect the surroundings. Nah, bro. Initially, they observe nothing unusual until Pete discerns an apple resting on the porch, presumably hurled at the Throwing an apple in my house? His reaction Ooh, is nah. one of understandable Gonna have a food anger, fight. Prompting him to vocally warn any potential perpetrators that further disturbances will lead to police involvement. Despite issuing this stern caution, the disruptions persist. Consequently, the couple install security cameras around their residence to monitor any future incidents. 
one of these cameras subsequently captures the following event. Oh man, here we go. We got back to back to back back sequences, bro. What the hell? What the hell? It's like it, it's like it to took it away from them as a punishment. What the hell was that? <laughs> he just grabbed it less with it. Seemingly emanates from outside a window, abruptly cut off by an unseen force. This incident follows a series of inexplicable occurrences at Pete and Ash's residence, such as Ash discovering a displaced door handle on the floor, which neither of them had tampered with. Initially considering the possibility of local children orchestrating elaborate pranks, Pete now contemplates a more unsettling reality. Whatever disturbances they face may not originate from human agency. Man, it really sounds like it does not like the rain. <laughs> Ooh, nah, I don't like that, bro. It sounds so much closer to the house than here. After the recent update, viewers are starting to speculate that the source of these disturbances might be a malevolent entity, potentially a skinwalker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, bro. Shortly after, Can you please get that picture off the screen? I don't want to see that. Update, featuring a recording he captured it's like, I don't know, only 11, 19 at night. Feeling unsettled by these recurring events that have troubled him for months, he questions whether his perceptions can be trusted. Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah. That's a face, Have bro. Have you observed it? Suspended amidst the branches near Peter Nash's residence, there appears to be a visage discernible. While Peter begins to question his perception, numerous viewers affirm witnessing the same phenomenon. <laughs> it looks like it, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> Ooh, nah. It's kind of weird, though. I don't know. By now, Pete and Ash are overwhelmed with frustration Ooh. and simply want the unsettling noises and disturbances to cease. Driving home one late night, I they hear the noises anew. Oh, we got. Sequence after sequence after courage, sequence. They decide to investigate outside the safety of the... At this point, bro. Move out. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, bro. Their car. Perhaps intending to demonstrate their fearlessness to whatever lurks out there. However, this decision proves to be gravely mistaken. <sighs> So I'm doing it throne, watch. <laughs> Bro don't give a damn no more. Mmm, <laughs> nah. Upon exiting the car, Pete and Ash are immediately greeted by escalating noises, <laughs> as though the elusive yeah, presence nah. is drawing near. A little bit of time for me and my girl to be going out of there. The we would have moved out. From all Day one. That happened. Instilling a profound fear that an imminent attack is imminent from the entity that has plagued yeah, them nah. relentlessly. Their courage failing, they hastily retreat to the perceived safety of their vehicle. Later, back in the comfort of their home, the familiar unsettling sounds resurface yet again, intensifying the apprehension. As the entity seemingly looms just beyond their property, Ash resolves to capture evidence on camera. Dimming the lights, she aims her camera at a window, capturing an utterly chilling sight. What the hell is that? What, man? What's going on? 
I hear something out there. Gosh, don't open the door. I'm just gonna see. Hold on. Okay. Of course. No course. Right when the, 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 the quote unquote jump scare happened, it's going to do that. That's nice. Yep. Just what I wanted to happen. Stay away from the window. The hell? What is. What is that? <gasps> what the fuck Whoa. Is that? This surpasses anything Pete and Ash have previously documented. Whatever this entity is, it appears non-human. Oh, it no. appears probable that this entity is responsible bro. for the unsettling Hair on my, and disruptions bro. that Dude, have plagued Pete and Ash but... since they relocated to their forest dwelling. What are your thoughts on its identity? Could oh, it be a what skin is chat? What do you think that is, bro? Commentators speculate, or is it nah, something that's scared to different? Right, lie to y'all. <laughs> your thoughts in the comments. Ooh, nah. Paranormal investigators and brothers Josh. Sean and Rocky Foreman embark on explorations for their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series. Their recent investigation led them to the abandoned company housing of the Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company in Campbell, Ohio. This area, originally got seven minutes, in 146 seven apartments, minutes. was constructed in 1918 to accommodate workers from the Youngstown Steel Factory. The community faced a sudden upheaval in 1977 during what became known as Black Monday when the steel company abruptly ceased operations, resulting in the immediate dismissal of over 5,000 employees without prior notice. News we've received this morning from Youngstown Sheet and Tube is just the worst possible news that we as your elected public officials could have received these workers were left destitute and burdened with significant debts tragically some so were in a history no class escape, right now and they took their own lives within their company provided apartments Damn. over time these apartments were deserted and left to decay now these abandoned homes carry a haunting legacy with reports from visitors renovators and tenants alike of chilling paranormal encounters Yes, there's spirits. I believe here. it. There's sad spirits here. They lost everything and they have unfinished business and they don't know what to do. All those years, all those people that came in and lost their lives in here because they overdosed. There's a lot of ghosts here. The Paranormal Nightmare team aims to verify the veracity of these claims. The Foreman brothers divide to increase coverage. Rocky ventures solo into an apartment where a decomposed body was discovered, while Josh and Sean investigate a residence on the premises. It is during this solo exploration that Josh and Sean, alone together, suddenly hear something profoundly unsettling. All right, chat. Hi, my name is Rocky. Can you tell me your name? Nope. Are you in this house? Did you hear that? <laughs> Dude, I swear that sound like nobody on Josh. I thought it was Rocky. Both of them hear someone is calling out Josh's name from somewhere outside. I didn't hear it. Still can't hear it. The two brothers think they hear their brother Rocky's voice calling to them, but soon they recognize it's not him. Meanwhile, Rocky is in another apartment, engrossed in asking questions with a spirit box, oblivious to the unfolding events. This eerie occurrence isn't isolated. Later that night, Josh and Rocky are outside, with Sean conducting a solo investigation upstairs. Once more, they hear a voice calling out. It's like when you're inside, you don't hear anything outside. Oh. What's wrong? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing? Why are you yelling, screaming? I wasn't. Huh. Okay. We were sitting outside on that front porch 
and it sounded just like your voice yelling, scream, 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 like you heard a scream, and you're yelling for us to come help. No, I was just, and it sounded just like your voice. I was just sitting up here asking questions. I had the camera on me the whole time when you guys walked out. Josh <laughs> and Rocky believe they hear their brother Sean calling for help, Being manipulated. prompting them to rush inside. <laughs> However, it remained unseen. Intrigued by the unexplained cries, Josh resolves to conduct a solo investigation in the upstairs Bruh, apartment. <laughs> Once more, he know. captures something unsettling. My name is Josh. Can you please come in here? Can you please hear me? audio from what? Whoa. Bro, where did they get these mics from? Dollar General? Can't hear them. Was that you? They got these mics from Amazon. Nothing worse than being a creepy ass house. Hmm. I'll show you guys what I see. That's all I see is complete darkness. During their investigation of the Youngstown Stillworker Apartments, the Foreman brothers unwittingly captured more than they initially realized. Upon reviewing their footage back home, which included an interview with the apartment complex's redeveloper, Timothy Sokolov, they That's made a chilling discovery. Right here, brother. In the background, on the abandoned lot behind Timothy, something deeply unsettling was inadvertently caught on camera. And uh, the one brother answered, and he had, there were legs sticking out from behind the door because the other brother dropped dead, and they, he just left him there on the floor. Like, there was nothing to it. Huh? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Shorty just chilling in the background. Female spirit. What? A faint, almost ethereal figure emerges subtly behind Timothy. Its movements are erratic and unnerving, distinctly diverging from typical human behavior. The spectral entity appears ghostly white, devoid of discernible features. Could this be the lingering presence of the mill workers Maybe. reaching out from the other side? The identity of this mysterious apparition remains open to interpretation. <laughs> I if don't know. To watch the chat would you know, think it's an apparition? I think so. Interviews and additional eerie sightings. Check out their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series. All right. Thank y'all, chat. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, if y'all enjoyed that video, I know it's really hard to watch because it really wasn't really any anything to like be just scared at or whatever. But it was really kind of entertaining. I learned a lot, and um, I learned to never live out in the woods. So thank y'all for uh, watching this. Do hickey with me, and uh, have a great day. All right. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you're a real one, ooze. <laughs>